Good afternoon, viewers. We are still on the simultaneous linear equations. We have seen how to solve simultaneous linear equations using elimination method, and we have seen how to solve the same linear equations using substitutions method. So today we are going to be looking at graphical solution to simultaneous linear equations. You need to construct a linear graph of each of these equations. The point where the two lines intersect, the coordinate at that particular point is the solution to these uh, simultaneous equations. But before you construct the graph of this, you need to transform each of them into slope intercept form. Slope intercept form of a linear equation is given as y equals mx plus c, where m is the slope c is the intercept that is the value of y when x is said to be equal to zero so for equation one we have we need to transform it into this form uh, so we need to take these three x to the right hand side leaving two y there so we have two y on the left hand side equals when this term crosses equality sign it changes to negative three x then plus 26 because we are interested in knowing only y, we need to divide each term by 2. So y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 13. Then on this equation number 1, our m1 is equal to negative 3 over 2. And the c1 is equal to 13. These are the two times we need in order to float the graph. Then for the equation number two, we have, if you take four x to the right hand side, you are left with only negative y to be equal to, then this is negative four x, then plus 20, which is already there. Then because we are only interested in knowing what is y, we need to divide it of these times by negative. So y now equals, positive 4x minus 20. So in this second equation, we have our m2 to be equals to 4 divided by 1 because we need our slope to always be in a rational form before we can plug it in. And c2 is equals to negative 20. So these are the four terms we need. m1, m, m2, c1, and the C2. These are intercepts. Whiteboard is not suitable for constructing graph. So now let us see how we can construct this graph on a graph sheet. Our graph sheet is now ready. We have uh, M1, which is the slope of equation number one. And we have C1, which is the intercept of the equation number one, y intercept of the equation number one. And we have M2 which is the slope of the equation number two. And we have C2, which is the y-intercept of the equation number two. So let's construct a graph of equation one. Then we later on construct the graph of equation two. You have to plug uh, the intercept first, which is 13. Therefore, we have to locate 13 along y-axis, which is this. We have 13 here, so we need to put our star there to indicate our intercept. Then our slope, this is rise, this is run. We have rise of negative 3 and a run of positive 2. Therefore, from the intercept, we rise three times downward. 1, 2, 3. Then from here, we run two times to the right, one, two, and we indicate with a star there. Then we use a ruler to connect the two points together, which is the line graph of the equation one. Use this is the graph of the equation one. Then we need to do the same to the equation number two. We have our slope and intercept. 
we need to plug into surface which is negative 20. From here downward, if you look at it, we have negative 20, which is this. Then we put our star there. Then our slope. Rise 4, run once. Rise 4, run 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are moving up because it is positive. Then we move to the right hand side once. So we have 1 here. Then we need to connect the two points, these two points together, and we extend the line till it meets the line of equation number one. So and this point is exactly where the two, two graphs meet. So the coordinate here, it must not be perfect, but approximately equal to so the coordinate here is so the solution the solutions are x equals to 6.1 y equals to 3 so this is the solution to this graph and is the solution to the simultaneous equation given to us initially. So this is how exactly we can solve simultaneous equations using graphical method. In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can solve the same uh, equations using matrices, which is the Kramer's rule. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos.